All right, I am live. <clears throat> and if you watch this in the replay, leave a like, leave a comment, engage. It helps me grow. It helps the channel grow. And I know y'all want me to grow, right? Y'all don't want me to stay right here, do you? That would be so kind of sad and depressing. It really would. So, hello, it's your Lulu. So we're gonna, tonight we are, I know people are like, live again. I did, um, because it's my channel, I can do what I want to. So anyway, so, oh, I'm sorry, I was trying to send something. So anyway, how are you doing? If you watch this in the replay, thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Um, and like I said, leave some comments or something. If you would like to see this look, there was a morning makeup session that I did today. So go ahead and watch that. Appreciate you, appreciate you. I don't think anybody's getting notifications though because this is really strange. I'm a minute in, I have absolutely no viewers. So we're gonna see what happens in a couple of seconds. Cause okay, there's Tammy. Hey Tammy, I'm like, cause I don't think anybody got. To, I don't think nobody got a notification or something. Cause dang, we almost two minutes in and nobody's here. What's up with that? So once we get a few people in, I will start my storytelling. How you doing, Tammy? How's your husband? How's everything going? How's life been treating you? How's life been treating you? Right, see? So I kind of figured, because I'm like, okay, I don't see anybody in here. But, you know, like, hi, Magpie, how are you? How are you? you you've been coming a lot now. You, you must like hanging out with me. Shut your mouth. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Oh, goodness. Talk about some mess. That's some mess right there. That's some mess. How are you all doing? Nobody was in the truck when it caught on fire. I had a car ca caught on fire. My little Fiero caught on fire while I was driving it. Oh, I'm sure it true story this is what happened the other car that caught on fire was my mother's car right after she died i had her car hi vicky see uh right right isn't she um my mom right after my mother died i still had her car and i was my sister was in town and i was about to drive her to the airport Girl, before we get started, Diana, hi, Kate, how are you? Let's talk about that for ten, we're giving her two minutes of let's get, let just know, November 26th is going to be epic because we are watching, we will be, in, we will be ready to see what Jaclyn Hill is launching. I'm thinking since she pulled out that champagne pop, it might be highlighter. Tammy deserves better in 2020. I like that one. Can I get on that train too? So I think it's highlighter. And look, and she's coming right before Tati. Because Tati has some groundbreaking game changer thing she's bringing out. I personally think I don't know what Tati bringing out because she's talking about this is going to be a game changer. Girl, bye. Ain't nothing, ain't, no, ain't you can't change, ain't nothing a game changer in, in makeup right now. Nothing you could do is going to be a game changer in high, in, in makeup. Everything has been done. It's, stop acting like you're doing something new. So anyway, yeah, I mean, this is 20, this is almost 2020. Ain't, you, you ain't game changing nothing. <coughs> <clears throat> she okay here's what she's gonna come back with 
<clears throat> get this is what if Jacqueline comes up with the highlighter <clears throat> she's gonna say she's bringing out you know something better than champagne pop <clears throat> because she brought out champagne pop for a reason <clears throat> she brought it out for a reason so I'm thinking she is going to hi Pamela she is going to be comparing it to champagne pop <clears throat> so now let's get started with what y'all are here for <clears throat> so let's start about how this all came about because y'all know I like to tell a good story now I have had hey Kelly um you know I have perfume but I really haven't been buying perfume honestly and I haven't been wearing it as much I don't know what that but I got perfume I haven't been wearing it that much don't talk I, don't ask me why <clears throat> So this all got started because of Kimberly Newberry. Let me just tell you. Right. Exactly. That's what I'm thinking she's going to do, Michelle. So let me tell you, this all got started because of Kimberly Newberry. And it started, hey, Bella, because she was talking about Lalabo Santal 33 and her crazy butt was buying some of the laundry detergent. So when we were on the phone talking about it, I was like, you know, there's a Lilapo store here in Chicago. So let me go up there and check them out. Because I actually had smelled Lilabo because I had a sample of Rose 31. <clears throat> so I said, well, let me just go on up there. So I went up there and I bought a bunch of these. Okay. Okay. Honey, I understand them days. I remember the basketball days. So I went and I bought a bunch of samples from the Labo, right? Went and bought a bunch of samples. And I was all into like, ooh, I was all into fragrance mode. And then I wound up at Ulta and wound up getting those through. I got some really good deals on perfume. And after that, it and I don't know what happened after that. It just switched on and I was like in perfume world. And so I've been watching perfume videos and I've been like all over the perfume sites. So now I'm into the perfumes again. And, and it's kind of good because I was getting a little tired of, you know, just beauty and makeup and everything. I love me some skincare and all that good stuff. But perfume, I'm like, okay, we can, this is part of beauty. Because I truly believe if you smell good, you feel good. I've always said that if you smell good, you feel good. So you should try to smell good. So with that being said, let's just talk about what I've gotten. So it started out, like I said, with the Lilabo samples. And these are like six bucks. Now, I don't know if you can get them on. I know, I'm sure you can get them online. But of course, for me, it was easy because I went down to the store and picked up a few. So I picked up a bunch of these. Been only been really using Lang Lang. I'm not sure about it yet, though. I got to play with it one more time before I run out of the sample because I don't. Was there a stutter? Was there a stutter? Because it went. Right, exactly. And, and I really, truly do believe that. And, and the good thing about scent is, for one thing, you know, your olfactory, um, okay, because I was like, what just happened? Um, your olfactory senses are connected to your brain. That's why aromatherapy works and everything. So, you know, certain that's why certain smells evoke certain and things like that because we it is it is really connected to our brain honey i didn't know what was happening i was like what the hell just happened so um so that's why it really does make you feel good um where is it it's on you know what it's down the street from decium you know how decium is down on milwaukee it's north of um right okay see that's what i'm saying these six dollar samples um it's north of north avenue so you it's on milwaukee but it's a little bit pat it's a little bit past north avenue on the west side of the street because you gotta know where it is yeah you won't find it um but yeah so it's it's right on milwaukee 
So that's what started it. And then we wound up this. So I'm going to show y'all everything that I've got. Now, no judgment. You know, we're not judging. And I even got out my, my iPad so I can, because some of the stuff I have notes on because I have been playing with it. And now I'm kind of, right? Okay. So now here's the thing. I've gotten to this point. Uh, I, I'm now kind of, kind of getting immersed. So as we go along, I will like, explain stuff i'm learning and everything because i'm not i'm not a fragrance person i just know what i like and so but i found out i've liked a few more things too i didn't know exactly what i was liking so first off one of the things i know i love is i love a good oriental because some of the notes that i really love is lang lang i love sandalwood i love amber i love oud i love those really deep sexy smoky sound smells i've also learned that i love rose with like oud and things like that so i like a rose but hi maria but I like rosy because I thought I didn't like rose. But what I don't like is I don't like a seriously heavy rose. I like rose to be tempered with something. So I've also found out that I'm kind of a gourmand. I like gourmands, which are things that are like vanilla, you know, like have, you know, food smells to them, like vanilla and caramel and praline and, you know, whipped cream and all that good shit. So I like those. Um, I also, I'm all over the place though, because in the summertime, then you switch. Um, well, it depends on how the, the rose is done. So I also know that in the fall, in the summertime, I switch and I'm more of a, you know, floral person, like the citrusy florals. I like that kind of smell. I can even do, like I was saying, I like commodity rain. I can do, you know, more water, you know, smelling things. And that's all about the time of year also. So I'm all, kind of all over the place. Um, I like, we'll see, I, okay, I do prefer jasmine to rose, but I've learned that I can do rose now, Kate. Like before, I was like, eh, rose, no thank you, no thank you. Um, right, right, when, right. If it's a subtle rose to it, I can deal with it. If it's not, I'm like, hell no, nah, I don't want it. Okay, so I have this box right here with perfume in it. Some, most, a, a few of them I've actually got notes on because I got me a little notebook. I got me a notebook, y'all, because I'm be better about these kind of things um i like gardenia i like mimosa i like frangipani which is um i forget what it actually is i like you know i like a lot of florals i love lilies but lilies have to have to be done right even i love lilies in real life not necessarily in my perfume um, so I'm like, I love florals. I love a lot of stuff. You know, I'm finding that I love more than I thought I did, you know? All right. Okay. So I have some notes, you know, I have notes and we can even open up for Grantica. I hate saying that word because I'm always fucking up, but for Grantica for the information, because of course I'm not one to be like, oh, it's a woody florally symbol you know, citrusy. I ain't, I'm not that girl yet. I'm just not. Now y'all know when it's getting real when I get fragrance strips. I'm just telling y'all that now. It's going to get real when I get the fragrance strips. Why didn't I turn the fan on? Okay, hold on. We got a minute. Now don't be looking at the, the junk in the, that y'all about to see because you know, I got on a little t-shirt and everything and I'm about to give it, don't, don't. Twilly. Okay, so let's talk. So I'll be right back. Don't be looking at all the junk in the trunk, though. Oh, y'all can't see it. <laughs> y'all can't see it. Y'all can't see it. Y'all can't see. Ooh, but y'all saw something. Okay, so I got notes. I got some stuff to say. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, so here is the box. It kind of got kind of went it kind of got out of control y'all and I want to do this so I can put everything away because I try to put everything away when I'm done with it okay so here we go so the first stuff is you know once I went to La Labo remember then I went down the street to um Ulta and then I found all these great deals on perfume. So I had to buy them. those I had to buy. There was absolutely no way I was walking out of that store without this stuff. So um let's just talk. 
So here's one of the first ones that I bought this month that I wound up getting on this new um, obsession. You know, well, you know what, actually, no, before everything else happened, I bought the Bon Bon by Victor and Roth. And that was and strictly for the points. I ain't gonna lie, I bought it for the points, but I do love it. Oh my God, it's a gourmand, it's so, um, yeah, because I did not like that other one that everybody talks about, uh, Marvellous, Marvel oh, that stinks. So anyway, I love this right here, this little bonbon. Bonbon smells so good. And it's, you just, the thing about it is, is like in the winter time, you can really get away with this smelling like food thing. And FYI, um, men are attracted to that scent. Since, you know, traditionally men are traditionally um, find the sexiest scents are the ones that are kind of like heavier and they're kind of, are gourmands. Yeah, I don't like flower bomb, but bonbon is delicious. Delicious. It smells like a bonbon. It really is. Okay, so now here we have right here, this is the first thing is that I got Omnia Coral. I know that's on my list of things to get. So I have this Bulga, Bulgari Omnia Coral. Now I really haven't used this much. I wound up getting two. I got the Coral and I got the Pink Sapphire. B has the Pink Sapphire, um, right? But, but that's because men like them, which means that they will give them more money, right? So I have this. And uh, I, I, I look, I'm telling y'all, I opened it up for y'all. So this one is, let me read it for y'all. This is a woody floral, fresh spicy with fruity citrus. So the, and I really haven't used this one yet. It's uh, red berries is on the top note. And the, no, it with bergamot and goji berries and it has the heart has water lily hibiscus and pomegranate while the base has musk and cedar now the interesting thing is i don't like cedar but i can deal with it in a fragrance now the packaging on these is not my favorite um but okay it's their thing okay it's their thing um i really haven't used this at all now the thing about scents hi stacy is of course you know that you have to wear it for a while and let it dry down so you get the actual, you know, so after the top scent, um, yes, this is definitely, um, it's definitely for summertime. This is definitely, it's very light. It's very, it's got a nice floral, but it's not too floral, you know, just from smelling it right now. It's got a nice floral into it. You know, it's clean also. It gives me a very feeling of clean. That's why I have it put to the side because I knew this was gonna be like a summer fragrance for me. This is not a, a, a winter fragrance. But in the summer, I could see this just being lovely. And just like, you know, when the breeze hits you, this would be so pretty. So I like that one. And I got that on such a good deal. I think I paid $17 per thing. I know my two stores now that I will be hitting around because in January, I'm going back to that store. So at the end of January, I'm going to see what kind of clearance and stuff they have. Then I got this Juicy Couture Viva La Juicy Glace. Um, you can't go wrong with it. Plus, it was $12.50 on clearance. So I had to buy it. I'll even give y'all some of the prices if I can remember. So I have the Juicy Couture Glace. Um, it is standard Juicy Couture. You know, a sweet... I think I had this before. I had it before in Scentbird. So this is like a cleaner version. It's not as sweet as some of them, which is good because I don't necessarily want them super sweet. But let's see what they say. What 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 is it called? Let's go look on frame for Grantica. You know, because I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. There we go. <laughs> so the thing with this is this is another summer fragrance for me. I would not wear this in this time of year. For one thing, Juicy Couture is notorious for not lasting. So you got to spray a lot of this on. It is a sweet, fruity, white floral with vanillas and citrus, which is true. Because you can smell the white floral. It's kind of got a soapy smell to me. In the top, it smells kind of soapy to me. I don't know if this is the same thing for other people, but it does smell soapy to me. Um... 
in the beginning. It does dry down to a really pretty soft floral, you know, sweet fruity floral kind of vibe. But in the beginning, it's kind of soapy to me. But you got to give them, um, you got to give them credit for like, you know, their packaging. One of the things about perfume is the packaging. I know they say you should keep them in your boxes and all this stuff, but I'm sorry. I'll just, you know, no, I'm going to have them out. <laughs> Um, plus, I have a good space where I don't have a lot. I don't have sunlight coming on them. I'm going to have them. And, you know, it's not like super warm, hot in my house. So, boom, there we go. Juicy Couture. Juicy. Viva la Juicy. All right. So, now once I did, um, yeah, it has it. It definitely does. And it's okay. It's a, it's, it, it is that true Juicy Couture. Like, this is kind of like you wear this. People going to know you wear something Juicy Couture on you, you know, because you can tell because they do definitely have a distinctive smell, uh, scent to them. <laughs> okay. Oh, and I forgot I got that coach, too. Remember, I got the coach for free. That's the other one I got recently. When I got the bonbon, I got the coach for free. That was a good day. That was a good. So I have gotten quite a few perfumes lately. I love Juicy Couture because it's a really nice, inexpensive brand that you can find scents that you like. You know, they have such a, 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 a breadth of their, you know, and they come out with stuff all the time that you can find something that you can enjoy and it's not that expensive, you know, from the from in in the perfume world. I'm not gonna say it's not it's not cheap. But in the grand scheme of the perfume world, it's not as expensive. And you can always find it in Marshalls. You can find a, Viva, a, a Juicy Couture at Marshalls or TJ Maxx all the time. So you can always do that. All right. I don't think I've had the gold. I've had the noir. I have something over here that somebody gave me, which I do not like. I don't know which one this is. Um because somebody gave it to me as a gift and I don't like it. <laughs> I got to smell it um, um, again, but I don't really like it. And um, But I worn it because it was a gift, you know, somebody gave it to me. Um, right, yeah, yeah, you can always find them. I'll stop. Okay, all right, so let's keep going. I'm not going to do that one next. That's going to be like one of my last ones. It's going to be one of my last ones. All right. What did I do with that? What did I do with that one? What did I do with that one? I did that one. Okay. Oh, does it? See, I've never smelled that one. Okay, so next up, we're going to go with this Shalimar Souffle Intense. I got notes on this one, but let me make sure I tell y'all everything. So, this is the Shalimar Souffle Intense. I wore this last week. Girl, you better go on and look at perfume and stuff because they have Gucci Bamboo. You can always get a, a discount. You ain't never got to pay full price now. You never got to pay, pay full price. Oops. On this one, um, which one? The souffle intense? Okay, so let's just talk about this one. I have actually worn it. So I have some notes on it. But let me like pull up and I'll tell you what it says about it. And then I will um, tell you how I think, what I think about it. Okay. All right, so. Da, 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 da. Girl, you can get Gucci on sale all day. Uh, okay, hold on. I pull up how much you can get it for. Citrus, white, floral, vanilla, balsamic, musky, warm, spicy. Those are the main accords of it. Which are the where the notes are? Okay, so let me see what I said. Okay, so here we go. All right, perfume X with afterpay. Thank you. You get twenty percent off, girl. And they already have it on sale. All right, so the top notes are lemon, bergamot, mandarin, orange. The heart is orange blossom and jasmine, and the bottom is Indian and Tahitian vanilla with white musk and benzoin. 
Okay. And it smells lovely. Let me tell you. I've worn it. I really like it. Um, let me spray it so I can get a good spray. Girl, you, okay, you clearly ain't been listening to what I've been talking about. Okay, so it does have a very lemony bergamot smell, and you can smell the vanilla underneath it. You can definitely smell the vanilla and the white musk. Look, I'm starting to be a, 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 a scent person. Now, first off, it doesn't have a large scent trail. Um, I don't know. I feel like... Uh, Okay, well, let me just pull it up for you. Um, I feel like, because in the beginning, it's definitely got that bergamot. It's got that that lemon smell to it. Girl, how you think I bought all this perfume? Okay, got this lemon and this bergamot. But as it dries down, it does become this lovely vanilla, you know, yet um, citrusy kind of smell on it. So it really does... Um, what I called it was it's clean, but it's like a subtle sexy. You know what I'm saying? It's got this clean vibe to it, but it's a very subtle sexy to it. Now, let me say when I first wore this, I did not spray a lot because I've always, I've never been a big sprayer, but now I'm going to spray. I've been spraying a little more. I'm getting a little better with this. Um, but, you know, six hours in, I could still smell it on me. And it was a very sweet vanilla smell. I call this workday chic because it's a very good workday, um, you know, and, and this is a good this time of year if you don't want to be too dramatic. You know, if you're not ready to be too dramatic, this is a really good one because what it'll give you is, you know, a nice, uh, it does not project. It does not project. In, so it has, it's, the sillage is not there it's very light on you it's got it's almost like it's not quite a skin scent but it's good um i would say this is very first date approved because it'll give you a sexiness but it won't be too much you know it's that first meeting because you don't want to give them too much because you don't want them just all over you because you don't know if you're gonna like them but this is a good you know first date like a coffee date this is a coffee date smell because it'll be just enough of a sense on you that it'll linger and if he gets close and hugs you he'll smell it but it's not so overly sexy that you know you're sending him the wrong message and giving him getting his little hit you know getting him going when he don't need to be going nowhere he does not need to be going anywhere so that's my thoughts on shallow mar souffle intense do i like it yes and at the price i got it i really like it <laughs> Because it was a good price. So, you know, yeah. Because this is a very inexpensive bottle of perfume. This is the 1.7. It's the 50 ml um, Eau de Parfum. So, yeah, it's a very good scent. I Like, I think I'll be wearing that for work a lot. And I'm going to see how it works out as I put on a little more. Because honestly, when I wore I didn't have that much on me. I ain't going to lie. I didn't have that much on So the next time um, we're gonna do that. Okay, so next up. Now, let me explain. Now let's talk about the differences. You know, there's different types of perfumes, right? You have the celebrity fragrances, which are, you know, the Britney Spears, the Ariana Grandes. Then you have designer fragrances like Shalimar, things like that. And then what we talk about is like La Labo and them. These are the niche brands, which are the, the you know, um, the higher end pricing. And let me say something about niche brands. They do bring something to the table when it comes to your scents. They usually have a little more complexity or they're just a little more different. And a lot of them are unisex fragrances because now this is a big thing is unisex. But I still prefer, a fem you know, I prefer women's fragrances. I can't do a unisex fragrance, but real talk, I, I do prefer to smell like a girl. So that's the difference. Like La Labo is niche brand and, and you can't, and it does have a really interesting smell to them and you'll find that with the niche brands that they really have these kind of like a little more to them you know and it's just something with some of them not all of them no okay so with that being said let's go with bond 
number nine. This one is West Side. Now, Bond number nine is an expensive brand. However, I did find this, you know, pretty inexpensive. This is um, the 1.7. You gotta love them for their presentation code because look at this box. And um, this is the 1.7 ounce. And to be honest, I'm not dying to buy 100 ml bottles of perfume because if you really start wearing perfume and stuff, you, I, you're gonna be switching them out. So I don't feel the need to have the the 100 ml bottle if I don't have to buy them. A lot of the niche brands and the designers, especially when you get into their private, their niche brands, because let me tell you something, all the designers have higher end um, um, offerings too. Um, like Maison Lancome, they all have different private, um, more private label ones, Chanel does, and they cost a little, they cost more. So this is bond number nine. Um, this is West Side. So let's talk about West Side. Um, so let's talk about it. Hey, Joshua, we just, we just really get into the perfumes. Welcome, welcome, because I, I, I heard that nobody was getting their, you know, their, uh, the what's the names weren't going out that much. You know, right, yeah, I mean, if you, yeah, a uh, hundred mil I'll buy if I'm, if it's something that I just really, really love, I just gotta have it, I'm gonna be wearing it all the time. But for like the purposes of, uh, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Now I will be buying some. Um, so yeah, I got this one. This is a rose floral vanilla woody fresh powdery. Okay. Now I'm gonna give you the notes and I'm gonna tell you how it does on me. The top note is rose, lang lang, and peony. The heart is sandalwood and amber, and the bottom is vanilla and musky. Now, the interesting thing is all this, but when I spray this on, and when I spray it on, it is boozy. It smells like whiskey. It smells like whiskey, really, really serious. I mean, like when I first put it on, it smells like whiskey. Now, it does dry down to a beautiful kind of like high cocoa it it dries down to a beautiful kind of boozy rosy smell so that's what it what it actually came down to on me yeah bourbony whiskey you know it's got that boozy, and i mean it's a hardcore boozy smell like boom it's in your face just like that so yeah this is boozy baby this is boozy it smells like straight booze in the beginning right but it does dry down to this really beautiful, rosy, boozy smell. So it kind of turns into like, as it dries down, it, it smells more like red wine as opposed to the bourbony whiskey smell. But then it, it does dry down and it has this beautiful, and I, I can smell the peony in it. I don't smell the Lang Lang as much, but I smell the rose and the peony. So it kind of dr dries down to like a really pretty, rosy, peony, boozy kind of smell, which is very pretty on. Now, let me just tell you this though. It has no siage, so it doesn't project that much. And I have heard some things like that about Bond Number no. 9 Pro, um, um, you know, fragrances that they do not project that much and they don't last that long and it does not they have i think they have but you can still find it on what's the name because i was going to get that nirvana bourbon because i thought it was like it sounded lovely so yeah the thing with this is it doesn't last long like, and let me tell you how much you don't smell it we got in the car and B couldn't smell it on me. Now she did have on her own perfume, so maybe she couldn't smell it because of that. But it doesn't project out that much and it doesn't last that long. I know it's on my list to get. So, you know, I would say I like it. I have it now. Luckily, I bought the smaller bottle. I did not buy the more expensive bottle. So I'm okay with the pricing that I did for it. I like the smell though. I honestly, I do love it. I'm gonna play with it some more. I'm gonna see, cause I don't think, I think this would be better like in, in um, you know, I'm gonna see, you know, 
how it works out as I wear it a little more. Does is it just you know me tripping? Because I felt like I I was sucking away perfume for a minute. I thought my body was sucking it up. I was wrong, but but yeah. Like right now, I love the smell of this, honestly. And that's what I'm saying about kind of, I'm learning about the niche perfumes because this is just like, I would have never expected to smell something that smelled bourbon-y, but then this rose smell and this peonies and really like it. It's a really good, and it is unisex because uh, B's boyfriend, uh, baby daddy, he smelled it and they were going to a party and he was like, can I please borrow your bond number nine? So I let him use it, he loves it, so. So, but it's, like I said, it smells good on me, but it doesn't last and it doesn't project. So, see, I just call it, it doesn't project. It doesn't, yeah, it ain't got no projection at all. Not at all. So, at the price I paid, I'm okay with that. If I had paid over $100, I'd have been annoyed. All right, next up, let me pull up this one. Hey y'all, what, what, what y'all doing? Ain't nobody talking to me. I don't like me nothing more. Y'all don't like me nothing. I don't like me nothing. Like <laughs> I need to be like, now this eye look though is love. I'm in love with it. I'm in love with it. Which one did I get? Okay, here we go. Right, if I'm paying, right, if I'm paying, I needed to, I needed to like grab attention. I needed to grab some attention, right? Okay, that's what I need. I need some attention grabbing. Okay. So the next one I'm going to show you. Why are you saying sorry? Because your dad called. Say, hey, dad. All right. So the next one up is, let's go for it, is... Thank you. This is Mansara Indian Dream. Now, let me show you how they send it. Mansara only comes in one size, so you wind up buying this big old bottle. It's like 4.2 ounces or some crazy stuff. Yeah, it's like four ounces because um, it's 120 mil. So you wind up with this big, huge bottle. It, they do give you this little cute little bag to keep it in though. But it's a huge bottle of it, right? And this is Indian Dream, right? Okay, so this is a white floral, woody, aromatic, powdery, vanilla, fresh, spicy. Uh, um, did I even write this down? Let me see if I got some notes because I have one. That's not the one. Uh, I didn't. Okay. Okay. So the notes are geranium, heliotrope, and orange blossom. Middle notes are jasmine, amber, and rose. Base notes are sandalwood, white musk, vetiver, and vanilla. Now let me tell you. Let me tell you how how I would explain what it smells like to me. It smells like, like Indian incense, right? It smells like the Indian incense, some of the Indian incense I buy. That's the first thing off the top, which makes sense because it's very heavily jasmine. Um, right, right? You not, you, you ain't, you, no, now that you said that, you're right. So I can smell the jasmine, which is a very Indian scent because, you know, in, so that makes sense to me. So that's what I'm smelling and the amber, right? So it's very heavily into that, which is a smell that I absolutely love, those kind of smells, because it's just something about them. And then it does dry down to this beautiful powdery smell. The vanilla is very light, so you don't really smell it. But let me just tell y'all something about this stuff right here. Girl, don't, don't see, girl, if I see some love baby soft, I might, I'm telling y'all, if I see it, I'm going to buy it because it loves baby soft as the shit. Okay. So let me tell y'all about this. Uh, I'm going to try it again because it was like my body ate it up. 
I smell this. I mean, an hour after I put this, I could not smell it at all. That's why they better give you this big ass bottle because you're going to be spraying this shit all day. I could not smell it at all. And I was so mad because I love the smell of it. Baby, it's, it disappeared on my body. Now, maybe I was a little dehydrated, but I ain't dehydrated to that point. I don't know. Because it disappeared. It was gone. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye-bye, sister. So, yeah. It's got a slight sweetness to it, but like I said, it's more jasmine -y, amber, which I love those scents. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to try it again. We will talk about it again at some point. But because of this, I don't think I want any more Manceras because it's like turned me off to them as a brand. You know, it's not because of the scent. Uh, right? Okay. So now, Stacy, when I did this one, I didn't have on any unscented moisturizer. So I am going to retry it again. No, it didn't become a skin scent. Nothing. It was gone, Kate. It was gone. I, I could nothing. There's nothing there. I was like, did I even spray the shit on? Thank you, thank you, Jenny. So I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna, you know, make sure I use some unscented lotion. We're gonna see what happens then. Will it cling to me better? Because, uh, yeah. And it's really bad because I really do like the scent. So I was kind of for, you know. Uh, so if I cannot figure it out, it might become like my bed spray or something. You know, I might be spraying it on my bed or something. Who knows? Because then my bread is... Uh, my mom wasn't a big perfume person. Um, she was not that... My mother wasn't a... I don't even think it would, I don't even want it as a hair perfume because it's not going to work with what I'm wearing. You know, I throw it in my hair if, you know, I'm wearing it. Yeah. How, Rhonda, how are you? Yeah, because I'm just not happy with this damn thing at all. Hey, Lou, I haven't seen you in forever. So it was a, yeah, it's just like, bitch, no. And full out, luckily, luckily, I didn't pay full price for it. You know, I got a good deal. So it wasn't like killing, you know, it don't kill my pocket, but. All right, so next up. Next up, okay. Next up, Montal Velvet Flowers. Now I got a small bottle of this one and it has a little bag. I like these little bags though. They, they make me feel extra special and shit like, oh, look at me. Um, I hair prefer, it's just something you put in your hair. Usually it's, uh, usually Maria, um, they don't have as much alcohol in them. So, you know, you're not drying out your hair. Hi, Renanda, but hell, it just, I'd be scared to put the shit in my head. Probably go funky or something. I don't know, it was just mad. It made me mad. Let me go velvet flowers. Okay, so let me tell you what this says about it and then I'll tell you what I got out of it. Uh, okay. I, I It might like be like bed. I, I might spray it on my bed, you know? Right, right, you gotta, listen, you gotta make me feel special. The thing about, per, about things like this anyway is that you want us to make you feel special oh i did not put it on do not disturb i hope dj don't get to calling me up and losing his damn man okay so this and look at it is it's just this tiny this is like a 50 mil and then look and then they have the, the little thing here so you don't i love this this is such an attention they're like no we're not giving you a top but we're gonna put this on here so you don't mess it up you know it's it's just a cute little pink bottle okay so let's see this is a fruity woody warm spicy rose floral and it's sweet those are the accords of it all right and then um did i put them down no okay so the top notes is it's got peach blossom rose jasmine lang lang saffron fruit rum sandalwood and musk now i did hear that montal is gonna is trying is getting rid of this size this 50 mil size that's why they're going on um so they're going on like a pink grenade. 
<laughs> that's why they're getting rid of these. So I'm gonna, if I like this, you know, I'm gonna have to try to, um, this is Eau de Parfum. Definitely Eau de Parfum. This is 1.7 ounce. Okay. So now let me just tell you what I think about it. Okay. So when you first put a uh, spray it, I'm telling y'all, when you see fragrance strips, you know I'm serious. I ain't got them now. Oh, wait a minute. Damn it. I'm like, why won't it spray? Because you didn't have the damn thing. Okay. It's a very rosy smell. It's definitely floral. You get a super floral smell out of it right away. It's like, it's very rosy. So if you do not like rose, don't get this. But I like it even though it's very rosy. It has a little edge to it. So what I this is a this is like an ultra floral with to it because when it dries down it's got this rosy sweetness to it along with the sandalwood because I can smell the sandalwood and the sweetness to it um now this is what I said about this this is definitely a summer scent or a bedtime scent like this is what it's winter time this is a beautiful bedtime scent I wore this to bed and I woke up and it was still on my skin and this was without lotion, you know, without trying to do anything like that. So when I woke up, I could still smell it on me like, oh, girl, you smell so good. So this is a great bedtime scent because it's nice and light, but it's still got a little sophisticated edge to it. I don't know if that, that makes sense, but that's what that was my thoughts about it. It was like it's an ultra floral with a little sophisticated edge because it's got that sandalwood in it and it dr dries down with a little sweetness. So it's not... Yeah, yeah, I'm telling you, it's like beautiful. So now of the two Mancera and Montal, I'm definitely gonna be trying to get me some more Montal fragrances because this, I, I woke up like, damn, I smell good, girl. I smell good. So, so that's that one. Yes, it will. So I'm, but like this is definitely summer, so I'm not gonna wear it now. It, even though you could technically, if you're more of a floral person, um, the floral notes again were, and it was a good price on perfume.com because these were under a hundred. So let's just say that I did not pay. I didn't pay like a hundred dollars for these, you know, cause I was like, I wanted to try something Nietzsche. I want to be Nietzsche, you know, but I didn't want to spend a lot. So, um, the ones in here are peach blossom, rose, jasmine, lang lang, saffron, fruit aroma, sandalwood, and musk, right? So, and like now I can still smell this stuff. It's like all over my room. So yes, this is a beautiful. So yes. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Wait, 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 what you talking about? What am I looking for? 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 No. I saw something about where could I get something? Okay. So yeah. Boom. Yes, yes, yes. So like I said, this is like for now, this would be a definitely bedtime scent in the summertime. Oh my goodness. I in the summertime wearing this, baby, you will be a flower bomb. You will be a flower bomb bomb and people and you won't smell like everybody else around you and that's the beauty of niches because a lot of times people don't wear them that you know the average person doesn't have them so boom you smell it different okay was that it da, 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 da. okay okay i got i got a few more i got a few more now i don't know about this one yet i have uh, tr tr real talk i bought this this is amazing grace magnolia um, this is the Eau de Toilette. I only bought it because I was getting points at Ulta. So let's just, 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 this is the honest moment. Let me look it up because I don't know. I just bought the shit. Because I was like, oh yeah, let me get it because this got the points. It's got the points. We got some points, y'all. We got some points coming in. Let's see what they say about this damn thing. <laughs> um, I do have one that I like though. I like Ballet Rose. And you all said that Cashmere Cream was good. Um, but yeah, so it was like, I mean, it, it, I got some great points on this though. It was like, oh, okay, well, let me get it now. Because this is about the only thing from Hi Sylvia that I like from Philosophy. Real talk. Um, oh, I don't think they even have amazing. Look, they ain't even got it on for, for granted. Cause however you say it, 
I hate this name. They could have came with a different name than this bullshit. Just to drive people crazy, try to make you have to say stuff that you can't say. Come on. Well, anyway, so I got this. It's very floral. This is definitely something I will wear in the in the summertime. Um, I like falling in love too. I forgot. I do like falling in love. Um, let me see. Wait a minute. My room smells like velvet flowers now. I, all I smell is the Montal. Oh, it's actually kind of cute, y'all. I just opened it today because I hadn't even opened it. I, I just was like, oh, okay, I got it. Oh, it's kind of cute. It's kind of powdery. Oh, she kind of cute. Okay, this is definitely a spring summer fragrance. Right, I, I, it's like, it's taking over my whole damn room. It, it bounced out the man's hair like, bitch, get out of here. He was like, I'm here, I'm Montal, I'm here. It's kind of cute. Definitely got a magnolia, kind of, it's very floral. I have to play with this again because um, I like these for the summertime. These are like a really pretty summer, just at the beach kind of smell where you want to have something on, but you don't want it to be too too intense. So I do like them for that. So I'm gonna, we'll come back on that one because I have not done anything with it. All right, now the last two I have, let me show you. Right, don't we love it? Because it was just like, what was it? Because, okay, this is what was going on. I think it was five times the points. Um, okay, girl, I ain't buying it. Yes, it's the soft powdery floor. Thank you, girl. See, that's why Rhonda and Kate are here for me because ah, I'm new to this stuff. I'm new to it. I'm new to it. Don't be expecting me to be good at this shit yet. 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 Okay. All right. So next up, and this one is because of her, Miss Rhonda Larice, that I wanted to buy this. This one right here. This is Salvatore Ferragamo Signorina Mysteriosa. These next two, we. Okay, first off, I'm gonna just let me just let me just say some things. First off, this is a beautiful bottle. We like the little, you know, rose gold with the little. I love ribbon, don't you? When they incorporate a little ribbon and stuff, that's just so cute to me. That's just so cute. Because I see eight people in. Okay, so. Uh, this is such bullshit. Oh yeah, I'm I'm de definitely dead. I'm definitely dead. Okay, y'all coming back now? Y'all can see me because I know what happens. I can tell now. It's when everybody's gone. Let me see. Am I still on? Let me see. Let me see. Okay, I'm back on. Okay, I see I'm back on. Okay, I see me. I see me. I see me. Okay, I'm back on. Okay, I see I'm back on. Okay, I see me. I see me. I see me. Okay, let me know when y'all back in. Because you know this bit, you know, YouTube be fucking with me. Okay, so I had to put myself back in. into some bullshit okay i'm gonna sign in under bianca i'm i'm bianca now <laughs> i'm bianca now okay why am i not seeing anything okay and i'm not seeing any of what y'all are writing right now i can't see any of the right there so i'm on here i'm under bianca's name So you're gonna see me come up. I don't know what she said, what her what her name is on here though. Let me see what it comes up as. Because right now I have nothing. Bianca, see Bianca Kelly, but that's me. Okay, so so okay, so I'm back, and I have to look down here because the the with that I have no nothing coming up 
Okay, so I have nothing coming up. So I'm gonna be looking down here to see what you all are saying because it's not showing up any chat on my screen right now. Yeah, that's that's my life right now. Let me see if I change it. Okay. Okay, now nah, okay, I fixed it. Okay, I'm back. Okay, I'm back. Okay, I'm back. All right, so let's keep going on. Now we back on Signa. This is Salvatore Ferragamo. Um Signorina Mysterioso. Now, let me just tell y'all about this. Let me just tell me, right, y'all get that money. Right. You know what? I'm gonna have to tell my child to do that. Just run, let's just let the mother's money. Let's run some money. Run some mama money. Run some. What did I just do? Run some mama money. So let me tell you what this is. This says this is a fruit sweet vanilla white floral milky. That's what this one says. It is right. The um, top notes. Let me let it come up. The notes for this one is. Um. Is, is wild blackberries and neroli and the orange blossom and sensual tuberoses in the heart and patchouli um, and black vanilla mousse is the base of this, right? You know I love a good oriental floral. But let's talk about her. Let's talk about her. First off, I got her on a great um deal let, let me just tell y'all i got this i got her on a great deal great deal um so when i first opened it it is fruity it was like just a burst of blackberries it's it was very candy sweet to me when i first did it Whew, um baby Ugh. and then it kind of and then it dried down to this floral sweetness but let me just tell you about this one. Let me just talk about this one right here. I've been, she's been on me for hours and she is divine. First off, very strong scent. Okay, it, it, it's it got a good scent trail. I mean, it's strong. It, and I didn't even spray that much. I think I just did my, my wrist just to try it out strong i was i took a nap because y'all know i love to take a nap i've been off today you know i gotta take my nap i woke up from my nap and it was like i was i'm enveloped enveloped how have you say enveloped ah say it right enveloped in this beautiful scent this is signorina mysteriosa by salvatore ferragamo right now you can get this at a really good price let me just tell you this you can get this at a good price but let me just say this this is delicious delicious and a date night this is sexy just fucking sexy y'all just sexy sexy now let me just tell y'all this though this is date night but this isn't first date night this isn't second date night this is date night when we about to change the game you know what i'm saying this is date night here's two things with the date night it's either the date night i got this for 19.99 go on perfume.com it's a good price on there but i i wound up finding this mm -mm. this is this is here's the two here's the way it works this is either you want him to remember you when you go home and be thinking about you all night because you just smell so damn good or you don't you you know you gonna be waking up with him the next morning that's all i'm saying <laughs> when he gonna be like no baby you ain't going home tonight you're not going home tonight that's what he gonna say no 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 when you ready to change the game on this on y'all dating situation baby oh yeah i love this oh this is this is this is somebody somebody mama's son is in trouble tonight fragrance this is what this is this is somebody's mom some mother's child son is in trouble tonight he in big trouble in big trouble i'll put this on and this is the way you're looking at him. 
Cause you ain't gotta say shit. You ain't got to say shit. Cause somebody's mother's child is in trouble, male or female. I'm just saying. I'll take your choice. I don't care what you're doing. I'm just saying. Now, I have not tried this one on yet, but I have been hearing about this and hearing about this and hearing about this. Oh, and I had to get it. So this is Scandal by Night by Gautier. Now, first off, my dumb ass had to figure out how to open this damn thing. Because I opened it, I was like, and I'm trying to open it from here. Then some said twist, and then it came off. Now, <laughs> um, <laughs> right, I need talking about paying some bills, game changer. Now, this one is very much the same thing. Um, I have not tried her on yet. I only bought the one ounce because I found it at a really good price at the one ounce because you can find scandal, but the scandal at night was kind of hard to find it. Uh, you gonna, were you really gonna make me do that? Oh, the sense. Okay, yeah, I could do that. I could do that part. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, so um, I want the scandal, the actual scandal. Well, let me give y'all what this says about it and I can tell you what I've seen so far with her. So, uh, scandal. Now I'm gonna tell y'all something. Don't watch, don't watch Rhonda Larice. She gonna have you bad a whole bunch of shit. Rhonda is like watching like Angela Owens or somebody like that who make your ass bow kind of shit. Danny. Who don't want to play tomorrow? Oh, oh, really? That's where we going with this? Yes, I'm getting my plate. Why are you trying to mess up my dinner plans? Why are you trying to mess up my dinner plans, Michelle? Damn. Okay, so this is a sweet honey balsamic white floral tuberose aromatic. And I'm going to tell you, it is a straight honey bomb. All you smell, ugh. You can smell the honey on this. Mm. It does smell. Mm. It is a honey bomb. It's intense, but you can get that tuberose underneath. You can get that balsam feel to it. So it's honey, but it's it's got enough in it so it's not too sweet. You know, because sometimes honey can be like overpowering, overpoweringly, whatever, you know what I'm saying. Sweet, but it actually has enough you know rose in it enough florals enough of that musk in it to bring down that honey that i can see this is another one i i because gautier no okay first off we know that gautier lasts forever we know that gautier lasts forever on you gautier he don't play go he's i mean ever since the first one his stuff has always been really good and the shit lasts forever on your skin i mean come on now you but this baby, this another one of them mother sons is in trouble. This is a mother's child is in trouble fragrance. Do not be walking around. See, and this is another thing. Don't wear this stuff if you ain't trying to keep, if you ain't, if you don't want them wanting you. Cause sometimes we be playing with folks' emotions. Don't wear this out on no date. And then you really ain't feeling them because then they are gonna be just all up under you, calling you, texting you, wanting to be all up under you. You'd be like, get away, I'm done. Uh. So don't do that. You these are these type of scents that you wear when you about to you changing the game. Ah, oh, thank you, Rhonda. That's so sweet. Thank you so much. Don't forget to go check her out because that's where I've been getting a lot of my list from. This is Scandal by Night by Gautier. Oh, goodness, just a oh oh oh. Scandal by night. Now I'm gonna go get I'm gonna get the scandal, but this was like the one ounce. So I was able to get this for under $50. So I had to try it because it was like two left. So I had to buy it. It was like there. It was like, bitch, you know you want it. I was like, you're right. So I went and got it. Scandal by night. Oh 
Yes. All right, so that is, is that everything? I think that's my whole haul. That's my whole haul. I did good though. Okay, so, so we got some stuff. So, okay, I will go into the description and I will put down everything that I put that we have. Anything else y'all want to know? But so I can put all the stuff, um, Fragrance Junkies Unite. Fra Hello, darlings. You know, I can mimic people. I already got her voice. It's sad. It's sad, but true. I have a voice. I have a voice. Who else have I been watching? Um, um, of course, Demi Rawling. But now, I was showing like we were talking about the one I saw who has like over a thousand perfumes. So yeah. So that was it. I've done. I'm done. I'm done for right now at this moment. I'm paying off. Look, I'm paying off some of this shit I bought in after pay. I'm too I'm I'm in my second uh payment, so I'm, I'm feeling good about myself. I'm feeling righteous. I'm feeling righteous. I might just pay it off though. I think I'm gonna pay it off. Cause I'm gonna pay a credit card off. And then I think I'm gonna pay it off so that I don't have to deal with it anymore. Cause this this after pay in particular is making me um and giving me anxiety. Lies and deceit. But anyways, I wanna pay it off so I can get start another one. Ooh, see, yes. So yeah, I have this. Now I do have a plan for my next perfume video. Okay, okay, I will. I'll, I'll go into her page and everything and I'll do all that. Yes, Miss Karen. But yeah, so as you can tell, I love the Orientals. But I'm just telling y'all, if y'all don't get nothing else off of this one, get this one. So, hey, baby. <laughs> See, I'm all over too, but like this time of year, I am more oriental, more gourmandy, you know, because it's that time of year where you want to smell like, you know, you want to be all sexy and everything, 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 everything. But yeah, I have another, I'm working on the next perfume video that I'm planning out. Y'all will like it, so I'm working on that because I'm, I'm going to be incorporating it into live miss. Go have live miss. Remember, December is every day at least one live with me, at least one. I think while I'm on Christmas break, y'all gonna see me like twice a day and shit in the morning and at night. What's up? What's up? Late night, anytime while I'm off on Christmas break. <laughs> I don't remember what day I'm off, but. <laughs> I got to get, I got to work out everything that we're going to do in live miss though. So I got to work, I got to work it out. Gotta work. Oh my goodness. I have to get off of here in a few minutes. Right? Okay. I've made my first empanadas. Okay. Michelle got me on decadence and I'm buying a bottle because that shit is good as hell to me too. Oh my goodness, Mark Jacobs Decadence is the shit. I'm, I'm, I've tried it out. I, I'm gonna be getting some samples of some things just to see if I like them because I'm not gonna blind buy everything. But uh, they turned out, yes, I'm making empanadas for the shower. Did I send you the invitation, Karen? Um, so I made a, cause you know, I gotta be different. I don't know. You know what? I don't know why, because I've been in the store, had it in my hand. I could have had decadence a long time ago. A couple of times I, I found it for like $30. I was like, ah, it's thank. Okay, but let me tell you. I made a spinach, sun-dried tomato, and goat cheese empanada. I got to go finish the ones that I'm making right now. I got to add a little more salt to it. They are excellent. Excellent, excellent with a little balsamic vinegar in them and I saute some shallots in them. It is good. So I gotta finish them up because um, I defrosted the, the disc. Because, hi Linda. Well, honey, I have, look, I'm working on my list right now. I have my, right here, I'm writing it down. 
my try list, my buy list, because I have a few that I already know I want right now. Um, and then I have some that I'm about to try out and then work on getting them. So I'm working on that right now. So I got them, I got them. Yeah, um, I definitely want some Killians I wanna try. I have got to try back Baccarat 540. I've gotta try it. I know it's expensive as hell, y'all, but I keep hearing about it and I gotta try it. I gotta see what it's all about. I found a good price on a sample on or a decant of it. So I'm getting it because I've got to try it, y'all. And then if it's so good, then I'll have to fit in and I'll just have to splurge and that'll be the only thing I buy one month. <laughs> it's a bottle of it because that thing is like $300. Oh, be still my heart, but I'm trying it out. I am trying out, but yeah, I got a whole list of stuff I want to try, and I'm working on my list a little more, um, yeah, because I need, and I have samples on, hell yeah, hell yeah, I take it, girl, you talking about me, of course, yeah, yeah, so I have some, some of the higher end stuff I want to try. Then I got to put down my, my designer fragrances I want to try. And then my buy list. My buy list is right over here. So I got to move stuff to, from the try to the buy. From try to the buy. So I don't know. We're going to be hitting into a new, you know, now we have a new adventure on this channel. We're going to have perfume too. What y'all think? Well, I, I got some people I'm trying to work on to get me to this. Uh, but, uh, yeah, yeah. So, anyway, right, right. So, we're going to be having makeup. And, plus, you know, the thing about it is, it's all beauty to me. It's not like, there's more perfume than makeup. You ain't never lied. You have never lied, Coco. We can have fun for, and it, of course the makeup will never go away. But you know we need to we need to balance it out. We need to you know smell good. And the thing is, is like for the people who really don't wear a lot of makeup, fragrance is a good spot too. I'm a one stop shop. Hey hey. <laughs> Just, don't mess with me. Don't be mad at me. Right, it's all about taking care of yourself. So anyway, let me go on because I got to make these for B. I told B I would make her, you know, make them up so we can have some. Right, you can, right, you looking good and don't smell like, smell like just old trash. Smell like old closet. <laughs> smell it like old closet, right? All right, y'all. So I will be doing a morning makeup, <laughs> a makeup session because I'm going to be at work all day tomorrow, darlings. I will be at work until 6 p.m. Because it is report card pickup. And they're making us sit in the cafeteria all those hours. So I have to like... Um, I need to charge up my laptop. Yes, it is. Not at my desk. It's like, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't mind it if I was sitting at my desk all that time. It would be a great day. Um, oh yeah, we got snow. Oh yeah, we got snow. Um, it would be okay if I was sitting at my desk because then I could get a lot of work done. But, um, Yeah, I'm not happy. I'm not happy at all. They're supposedly gonna give us, like they're supposedly gonna give us do lunch for us, but I'm sure it's gonna be something I don't want, like some old ta tired ass Bar Barocco's pizza. That's what, see, that's what I'm saying. Normally you have to go to the rooms to talk to the teachers. Now they've decided that we, um, we have to, you know, sit all here to make sure they pick up the, the grades there. And then since we'll be in there, they're more likely to talk to us. 
Well, okay, the first quarter always is report card pickup. And I think the third quarter, they do report card pickup. Yeah, it's first quarter and third quarter. Second quarter and the end of the year is mailing out. But this is always report card pickup for the first quarter and the third quarter. Yeah. I'm not happy, not for six hours. See, I've done stuff where it's been like a few hours there and then, but six out from 10 to six. No, I'm sorry, eight hours. When we had a lunch, we had an hour lunch. Yes, pretty much. Yes, this is a new version of parent-teacher conferences. Yeah. Yeah. And well, half of them don't show up and they still get them mailed out anyway, so it really don't matter on that line. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of parents don't ever go to it. Majority of the parents don't go to it. And that's exactly what's going to happen. They're not going to show up and then they're going to mail them out. I, I will probably see... I have my... Okay, my self-contained class, I have 11 or 12 students. Um, so I'm betting I might see four or five, maybe four or five, if I'm lucky, for eight hours. So that's going to be my day, but that's all right. And it's like, so can I put on my headphones? Cause I can work on some other stuff. Cause what I am gonna do is I'm gonna put on my headphones for a while, and I'm gonna sit there, and I am going to work on my um stuff. Yeah, yeah. All right, child. So let me get out of here. Let me make, let me make my empanadas. Yeah. See, I know they're usually in the cafeteria a lot. Of, well, see, a lot of times they're in the cafeteria, but it's those evening ones, or it's a shorter burst. I've never done eight hours in the cafeteria. Normally, if I'm doing that, it's like they do the parent-teacher conferences and they're separate, and it's usually in the evening. They'll usually do like an evening thing where it'll be like from, because I've done that before. It's been like five to eight where they had us in the cafe, where they had us in the gym. We had our tables, and then the parents were just coming by, and it was like you know we talked to them about the, their student or whatever. I've done that before. I've never done eight hours sitting in the cafeteria. I've just never done that. It's always it's always been in the room and then they can come and see you in the room. So, but you know, gotta do what you gotta do. Right, right, see that's what I'm saying. It's usually not eight hours. That's what we're complaining about. It's like, you talking from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. We are sitting in there. Like I've done, they've had us the whole day when they, you know, but we were in our rooms, which was fine, you know, because then, man, okay. And here's the thing. It doesn't really have, there's not outlets for everybody. So I don't know how we are going to be. So that's why I charge on my computer. When my computer dies, it's gone. Or I'm going to have to like try to charge it up during lunch or something. I don't know how we're going to do this. Because it's like, and that's only two hours. I don't know. It's just, I don't think they really thought that through. They thought that made sense. But eight hours? Come on now. So we're going to do like 10 to 12. Then we have lunch from 12 to 1. And then 1 to 6 for five hours, we're sitting in this damn cafeteria. I'm going to have my headphones. I got to have my headphones. I got to have. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It absolutely is. How'd you guess? Yeah. How'd you guess? Yes, it is. So, mm -hmm. so it's gonna be. Oh, let me show y'all something else I got before I go. These are actually going to be um, part of the gifts I was gonna be giving. You know, well, prizes. Oh, which one matters? Okay, I gotta take care of that. Okay. 
I do. I'm going to get a lot done though, on personal. So I got these, the mantra bands. Have you heard of the mantra bands? So I got this one, um, Stronger Than You Seem. Um, I got this one. I got a couple that I'm planning on getting smarter than you think. And then I have um, No Mud, No Lotus. Um, you Are Braver Than You Believe. And you're my favorite bitch. But the problem is, let me show you the problem with these. Let me show you the problem with these. Look at the opening. You can get it, I can get it on my arm, but I have kind of thin wrist. I'm thinking that a lot of people wouldn't be able to wear these because they're going to be too small. So like, see, I don't have a lot of space on them. So yeah, they're mine now. Cause I know everybody couldn't wear these. I, after I got them, I'm like, damn, they wouldn't, they wouldn't be able to, cause these are gonna be the prizes um, for the thing on uh, at the baby shower. But I'm looking at them and I'm like, they're not gonna be able to use them. Cause they're, they're kind of difficult for me to get up and I'm a little swollen right now. So my wrist is a little swollen. Normally it's much, you know, it's smaller than this. So we'll be fine. So I'm looking at my swollen wrist, which isn't that big and thinking anybody with the larger than my seven inches, when that get, and it ain't like they can move them, you know, they don't move. So you can't stretch them out. So you gotta be able to put them on. They hurt coming off, shit. So yeah, right, right, exactly. So I guess they're mine. I ain't paid that much for them, so I'm good. All right, y'all, see y'all later. Y'all have a great night. Let me go finish up these empanadas. I don't know what that was. I don't know where that came from. Let's forget I ever did that. Okay, let's just forget I ever did that. <laughs> Hi, Dana. We're about to get off now. Feel free to watch it, though. Appreciate you. Don't forget to leave a comment. Don't forget to leave a comment. I'm talking to you all. I look crazy. I had a little baby Jane look for a minute. Okay. See you.